Pace car is off. Corey LaJoy, Connor Zilich on the front row. Side by side they go. Green flag is in the air. We are racing at Watkins Glen. Into turn one, you see Jesse Love on the outside making a quick move of it. Corey LaJoy with a great start. Great job by Corey. We saw the nose of that car slam down into turn one. Going to get through the S's tight here. Already, though, up to second, Jesse Love. Two guys with experience coming through here. These young road racers are going to learn how aggressive these stock car drivers are. And we didn't talk a whole lot about Jesse Love, but he's a good road racer as well. He won in the West Series on the road course. That was his first win in the West Series at Tuella, Utah. Connor Zilich made it uh, maybe not as much of a contested battle, though, Jamie. He ran him down from three seconds in a couple laps, caught him, and passes him. I mean, it was unbelievable to see how quick he made this work. Obviously, this is down the front stretch off of turn seven. He got position on Corey LaJoy, gets the pass done into turn one. Corey was wise out. not to even not to even <laughs> battle him back here. He knew how fast that 28 car was. Pretty impressive to see a young driver run down a cup veteran and make the pass within a couple corners. Now he's out to a one and a half second lead and not looking in that rear view very much. Got a slow car on the track here. The 02 of Retzloff started in the back and was already up to ninth place. We see fire under this car. I maybe, just, a gear, maybe a rear end gear. That's about where that fire is coming from, the area of the rear end gear. So caution is out for the first time here at Watkins Glen. And I just noticed Parker Retzloff, one of those drivers started in the back, as you mentioned, just working him off one at a time, made it into the top 10, and then suddenly the smoke. So he has some issues as he stopped on the racetrack now. Good test for Connor Zilich here on the front row for the restart. Green flag once again. Can he hold off Corey LaJoy as they head into turn one? Yeah, did a good job. Got that start. He's got position here on the bottom. Going to have the advantage getting into turn two. The start of the S's on the inside. Look at them fan out. A nice, clean restart. Zilich hangs on to the lead. Corey LaJoy close behind. Brent Cruz, Jesse Love just behind him. Side by side, Andres Perez though, and William Sawalich. Issue for Corey LaJoy. Unscheduled pit stop for Corey LaJoy. Corey LaJoy started on pole at five laps, and you see him coming down pit road. They have not brought out the caution for that scheduled stop. And yeah, this car looks very slow coming down to pit road. Not up to pace. Trying to figure out what to do, going out here to look at it. You guys mentioned the debris that came off his car earlier in the race. Got to wonder if it's led to bigger issues. Bob? A brake issue for Corey LaJoy. He brought his car in to the pit road just one lap before the halfway break. They're going to go back out, and then they're going to come back in during the halfway break and work on it. Thanks, Bob. Tough break for Corey LaJoy. Connor Zilich has led the most laps tonight with 17. Brent Cruz will see if the adjustments to his 25 were good enough. As they head down to turn one, great restart for Zilich. Jesse Love's going to try to take that inside restart and grab that second spot back. And he's got it. Jesse Love to second. Brent Cruz. Slips back a spot. William Sawalich in the 18 there in the black and orange. Now Jesse Love has got his work cut out if he's going to go catch Connor Zilich. But guess what? Corey LaJoy now out of the picture. His car is going to be better. We see a battle behind him. He's going to try to go catch that 28 car. This Sawalich and Perez battle side by <laughs> side. I mean, they haven't been able to shake each other. And now Chris Wright in the 15 coming through. Obviously, some good changes to that car. Trouble for the leader, Connor Zilich, falling off the pace. You guys just talked about how his time had slowed down. He still continues to lead. But Jesse Love coming. So is Brent Cruz, as you see them gaining on the leader. He's got some sort of an issue. You can see the left front really pick up, Trevor. Yeah. We're going to see the same thing here. Watch. Watch this left side pick up when he turns the other way. Maybe a sway yeah. bar or something like this. Something that looks like a sway bar arm is dragging on the racetrack. Yeah. More than likely, maybe has, drug, has, has dragged the racetrack and maybe 
has a sway bar yeah, issue. That arm definitely could have drug through. And you're so aggressive on these curbs here that it can really wear stuff out, knock it off as we see the battle for second heating up. This could be the Je battle for the win. Jesse Love and Brent Cruz, they see what's happening right ahead of them. As you guys said, as they battle, the leader still hanging on, though. Zilich losing that lead slowly. But he's obviously got a big issue. He's not going to be able to hang. His lead has gotten went down to oh. about a second and a half. Jack Wood around hard in the wall. That's just at the exit of turn number one right there. Jack Wood stopped on the racetrack. You got to believe this will bring out, yep, the caution for the third time today. Chris Wright, our leader, leads the field. Stan Barrett next to him. Jesse Love, Brent Cruz. Slicks versus wet weather tires. Who will prevail as they go into turn one? <laughs> Connor Zilich knew. He used that wet line, goes to the outside. He's going to get the lead off of turn one. Cars all over the place, but Connor Zilich does it. And Regains the lead, and remember, his car is not functioning at 100%. You'll see the sparks fly. He holds off now. The leader, Zilich, 34 laps led, and he's leading here on the final lap. Look at this battle for second. Teammates going into the bus stop. Jesse Love able to get by the 25 of Cruz getting in the bus stop. And that move, that's the sweet move. I'll just go ahead and say it. Going to the outside, Connor Zilich knowing that wet racing line to go to the outside when Wright protected it in the turn one. That is the move of the race right there to get that lead. He's saying the race is sweet move of the race, but it's heating up right now. Jesse Love cutting down that lead. Can Connor Zilich continue to hold him off? Jesse Love is coming. He's going to have a shot at it. He's Can pushing. He get it loose? He's all over the bumper of Zilich. Wow. Can Jesse Love hang on at the end? We've seen this story before. Can he do it side by side? Oh, my Jesse goodness. Jesse Love wins for the eighth time. He brings it home at Watkins Glen.